Hello folks, this is a, a very quick and brief um, advising video basically for all of my advisees. And I realize that, you know, we, we tend to be very busy this time of the semester. You're trying to get your registration code. Uh, you don't want to make an appointment. You just don't really have the time in your day to, you know, set aside for that. And so I thought, uh, rather than try to force people to do something, which is not really in, in my nature to do that, uh, I thought I would just put this video together, cover a lot of the same ground, you know, some of the frequently asked questions, the frequent problems I see. Uh, and you could just watch this on your own time. And if you have questions that this doesn't answer, of course, you can email or we could, you know, set up an appointment from there. Uh, some of this will be repetition if you have already done like the regular SESU advising days, if you know about the, you know, the basics of getting a degree. Uh, a lot of people start off with like a transfer advisor, for example, and they walk you through this stuff. But even if that's the case, you might have forgotten a few things. Uh, so I just want to uh, quickly go over. All right, so the main thing uh, that happens is you need to uh, have a certain number of credits in order to graduate at St. Cloud State. Uh, that's this first requirement here. It's 120 credits, which works out. If you take uh, eight, you know, if you're a standard student, you take... Uh, uh, eight semesters here, basically fall and spring semesters for four years, and you take 15 credits each time, that adds up to 120 credits. What happens, though, is a lot of time uh, some students might start off at 15, then they drop a course, now they're down to 12 for that semester, or, uh, you know, sometimes they take more credits than that. Uh, sometimes people take some courses in the summer. Uh, uh, sometimes people uh, end up with fewer than 12 credits. You know, whatever the case may be, uh, just keep in mind, by the time you graduate, you need 120. So if you did take a 12-credit semester here and there, you'll need to take some summer courses to uh, uh, build that back up to 120, or, you know, do some uh, heavy-duty 18-credit uh, semesters uh, if it's still early, early enough in your career to, you know, to do that. Uh, but that's 120 across the board, and then you need these uh, 40 upper division courses. So this is what gets people a lot of the times is that uh, they have the 120, let's say, but they, most of these would be like 100 level courses, maybe some 200 level courses, and they haven't done enough at the 300 and 400 level. Usually these will be taken care of by your major and your minor because those will have requirements that are at that level, but sometimes there's just not enough credits even with that. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. Make sure that, you know, if, you're, uh, if you have a semester and you're looking for a course, and the choice is, should I take a 200 level course or, you know, it's just 300 level course over here. Now, my advice, just go with that 300 level because that way you're covered here uh, as well as the 120. And it's not, it's not always the case just because a course is 300 level. doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a lot harder or uh, more work intensive than a, than a 100 or 200 level course. Uh, let's see. The rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, these LAP goal areas, uh, when you look at your degree audit, which I'll show you how to get there here, you go to the uh, uh, e-services, um, let's see, where is it? Uh, e-services academic records degree audit. It'll pop up uh, this degree audit thing, and you can, it's pretty, pretty easy to follow. There'll be red X's if there's something you need to, to, to do. Uh, there'll be a green check mark if you've satisfied that requirement. And you just want to go through and look at each of these goal areas. So like there's goal one there was communication. This is just an example. Uh, but you could see on this one they say, uh, you're good. Got a green check mark for goal area number one. And they list the courses that, that count for that. Or it might have this X by it and that you know, something needs to happen there. All right. Uh, so again, with these goal areas, what happens sometimes students take, uh, there's certain courses that will count for multiple goal areas. Uh, so what ends up happening is you, you satisfy all your goal areas before you've taken 120 credits, uh, much less this, you know, these 40 upper division ones. So just something to keep an eye on. Uh, again, I, you know, I always think, why not try to, uh, you know, cover a number of bases while you're just choosing courses. Uh, if there's this option to take a class that satisfies, say, uh, uh, global perspectives, human diversity, all of these, 
Uh, if you're looking at which course within that list, and there's one that's at 300 level, you might take that one uh, to cover this base. Now, if you've already got your 40, though, you know, you could take whatever you like. You just need to get 120, and then, of course, um, get your major and minor requirements. Now, so that's the main thing I wanted to talk about here in this video, but there's one other thing. You know, here's just a list of the... Uh, uh, requirements for English degrees, but I wanted to skip over to this. Uh, so sometimes students aren't aware that you need to apply to graduate. So it's not an automatic process. Uh, what you want to do is one semester prior to the term you expect to be completed with all the degree requirements, uh, you submit this application. So let's just say this is a uh, fall and you've got uh, one more semester to go, and you you know you're going to be able to finish all your courses that you need by in the spring semester. That's when you apply. Uh, you don't you don't want to wait until spring uh, to apply for this. You know I don't know if they would necessarily prevent you from graduating if you waited that long, but it's just not a good idea. Uh, so you definitely want to do this. And it's I always tell students you know better to be early with this. There's no harm in being early uh, if you want to do it earlier uh, than the one semester prior to the term. You know, I'd rather do that than uh, be too late with it. But this is fine advice. Uh, and then how the way you actually do this, they just walk you through your DARS report, that thing I was talking about, your degree audit. Uh, of course, you talk to me if there's you have questions about it. But you're just basically looking to see, do you have those green check marks? Have you satisfied the goal areas? Do you have the courses you need for the major? Uh, do you have your minor? taken care of, uh, all of that sort of stuff. And if it looks good, then you click this button, apply for graduation, and it's $30, I think, you know, $30 here uh, for the undergraduate degree. Uh, so anyway, I hope uh, this was useful. If you do have questions uh, of any sort, uh, you could certainly email those. Uh, if it's something more involved or if you just want to have a, a Zoom chat, um, you know, we can certainly do that. I have software that where we can you can select an appointment, uh, and I certainly don't mind. It doesn't necessarily we don't have to talk for an hour. And you know, it could just be a little uh, ten minute thing. Uh, absolutely fine, uh, just to go over your report with you. But uh, I'm gonna leave it here and let you digest all this. And again, I'd uh, love to hear from you if you have any questions or just want to, uh, you know, to uh, drop in. I'm you know, happy to uh, <laughs> uh, chat with you. Uh, but anyway, I'll stop it here and have a great day.